Healthy Habits 101. We are in the nurse's office and we all kind of know, um, especially in an elementary setting, uh, there are going to be bumps and bruises and paper cuts and those kinds of things. And yep. oftentimes the process has been, we're going to send you to the nurse's office, go down to right. the nurse's office. Right. Gonna change that up a little bit this year. Yeah. Tell us about what some of right. those changes may look like. Yeah, so uh, we really wanna make sure we keep our healthy students with healthy students. And if we have an ill student, we want to make sure they're isolated and kept separate. So um, really just making sure that, that we keep those, that separation of space. Okay, Yes. well, one of those things um, that might be a mitigation effort is um, got all of these kinds of supplies and things like uh, bandages and things like that. Uh, if we just do a little kit for each classroom right. to have on hand right. in case something comes up that's not a major catastrophe but yet the kiddo needs a little support um, or maybe a, a band-aid to make it feel better or what have you uh, talk to us about that process. yeah so I you know and some schools are already doing this um, but we're gonna try to have little kits put together so that there are some of those resources in the classroom so that students can very quickly, you know, they get a paper cut, wash their hand, put the Band-Aid on and get back to class, and they're not gonna have to come to the health office where we might have um, six students um, in isolation. So really trying to keep, again, those healthy students in the class as much as possible. Right, and these are just your basic supplies that you probably have in the medicine cabinet at home. Mm -hmm. um, many times, uh, as we said, sometimes an ice pack just makes it all feel better, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and so we'll have some some options available so that we can care for yep. the kids who who do have those minor injuries, but maybe Absolutely. don't need the the care that requires them to be in a setting where there might be other sick children. Right, and we still want to provide them access to their school nurse um, for those, you know, any other injuries or illness and things like sure. that. Um, but we're going to be real intentional about trying to keep. Um, very minor things uh, in the classroom. Right, so perhaps the nurse, instead of having them come down here, the nurse may go to the classroom, go to the classroom and see them and that kind of thing. So the access doesn't mm -hmm. change, just the way we're delivering the service That's correct. may change a bit. So um, your kiddos will be taken care of in that yep. regard. Uh, we know that accidents happen with young ones and we certainly want to make sure that they're feeling um, healthy and well enough to continue their work. So we will make these slight modifications and uh, do our best to keep the kiddos in the classrooms. That's right. Thanks, Absolutely. Molly.